Hi, my name is Ariel Garcia. I am 20 years old and I am part of the Coachella Valley cohort um, as a multiple subject credential candidate. Um, a little bit about my community is that my community is formed by agriculture farming, low income families, um, and first, first generation immigrants. Um, so I have lived in this community for more than 20 years and have worked with my community for a long time. I have served my community in different ways. Um, and I think as being an, an educator, um, one of the ways that we can impact uh, our community is by one, really forming the, those relationships with their families and truly um, making those connections with them. I think if we make that connection and that relationship with those with the families, we're able to understand the needs that they might have, be under be able to understand ways to support them, and just be able to support, um, be an additional support to to them and to the students. Um, something that I love is that I'm currently working with a district that I have gone to school school at and have worked with, and and it's my community. And I, I think anyone that knows my community is myself. Many many of these students are my neighbors. Um, we live in the same neighborhood. And I, and I think that I myself understand um, the struggles that they might be going through. I understand that many of these families need, might, might be in need of, of simple necessities, um, might be in need of like due to the circumstances, due to culture, uh, situations or cir circumstances or situations, there might be, there's times that we, I, I, I would need to be more flexible and more understanding to them. Um, I think one of the things that I loved about uh, one of my courses that I currently took was being culturally, culturally responsive, responsive teaching. Um, and one of the things is that it's in the title, being able to understand their culture and being able to understand their background and where they're coming from and um, taking the time to get to know them. I think many times um, our, our students in my community at least, um, they're not really being understood correctly because of the lack of relationships that parents are, um, and teachers are not forming with. And I think um, to have a successful class, to have a successful student, to have, to be able to have that success overall I think that really comes down to building that relationship and knowing your students your families and knowing what are the needs that they they might require or they they need um one of the things that I did for one of my assignments uh for my early child development uh, major uh, was that we needed to create a resource binder with different resources in our community to so that we can have it to the tip of our hands um, when a parent asks for it, we can just be able to provide those resources and know, guide them the right way and provide them with the right knowledge um, on certain topics. And I think um, many of our parents in, the, in my community, they since they're farming, farm workers and first generation, um, they understand that in order to survive in this country, um, work is important. Um, and as a teacher, if I'm able to be flexible with that parent and understand and not take away their days or work hours for them to be present, if I can be flexible and be able to provide that additional support for my for my parents, uh, where the parents can be involved in a different way, provide those different ways for them to be involved in the child's um, school or be able to have those parent conferences at their time, just being flexible to them. I think that's a way to already be supporting them and making them feel like there is a support and they are, their needs are being heard. And um, yeah, so I think that's a little bit of that. Um, as far as my financial need, um, I am a dreamer. I do not qualify for FESFA and um, the funds that I have as a dreamer are no longer accessible for me. Um, they're gone and I do not qualify for loans. Um, and so this financial aid will truly, this financial uh, support will truly benefit me. Thank you.